He is known for his work in the fields of philosophy, music, and psychical research. He is recognized for his contributions to the study of human faculty and the persistence of conscious human personality. His name is Edmund Gurney. Edmund Gurney, a man of diverse talents and intellectual curiosity, was born in Hersham, near Walton-on-Thames. His early education at Blackheath and Trinity College, Cambridge, revealed his passion for both philosophy and music. While pursuing his studies, he even found solace in writing The Power of Sound, an essay that delved into the profound philosophy of music. However, Gurney's insatiable thirst for knowledge led him on a different path. He delved into the realms of medicine, physics, chemistry, and physiology, all the while harboring a deep interest in psychical research. Gurney pondered whether there existed facets of human faculty that surpassed the boundaries of conventional knowledge. Intrigued, he sought to explore this uncharted territory through observation and experimentation, particularly in the field of hypnotism. But Gurney's personal experiences fueled his research further. The tragic loss of his three sisters, who perished when their barge capsized during an Egyptian tour in 1875, left an indelible mark on him. Their untimely deaths left him grappling with profound questions about the persistence of human consciousness beyond bodily death, seeking solace and meaning in their tragic departure. Gurney's investigations into psychic phenomena took on a deeper significance as he yearned to uncover the mysteries of existence and find comfort in the face of loss. Edmund Gurney embarked on a remarkable intellectual journey, driven by an unwavering determination to push the boundaries of human understanding. And in his pursuit, he would come to challenge existing notions and ignite a profound exploration of consciousness and the afterlife, forever leaving his mark on the field of psychical research. Edmund Gurney, a renowned philosopher, embarked on a journey to explore the mysteries of the mind and the supernatural. In 1882, Gurney became a founding member of the Society for Psychical Research, a platform for investigating paranormal phenomena. He and his colleague, Myers, initially focused on exposing fraudulent spiritualistic mediums but soon shifted their attention to thought transference and hypnotism. Their work led to the publication of the groundbreaking volumes titled Phantasms of the Living, which chronicled a plethora of personal accounts and experiences. Gurney also penned an influential essay called Hallucinations, Shedding Light on the Phenomenon. The experiments conducted by Gurney and his colleagues aimed to establish evidence for telepathy, demonstrating that thoughts could be transmitted between individuals without any tangible means of communication. Gurney's fascination with hypnosis led him to undertake a series of experiments between 1885 and 1888. These experiments, as observed by Myers, hinted at the existence of an unknown force in inducing hypnotic phenomena, suggesting that it was something beyond ordinary stimulation or suggestion. The results of Gurney's work were bolstered by similar experiments conducted by renowned individuals like Joseph Gibbert, Paul Janet, Charles Riche, and Mary Court. Among their investigations, Gurney and his contemporaries also explored the relationship between memory in the hypnotic state and memory in the normal state. The research conducted by Gurney garnered significant respect from his peers and scholars alike. His findings appeared to corroborate the concept of telepathy, presenting the possibility that thoughts and experiences could be transmitted between minds beyond traditional means of communication. However, despite the respect Gurney earned for his research, doubts were later cast upon its validity. It was revealed that Gurney placed his trust in George Albert Smith, a theatrical performer and producer, who played a significant role in conducting the experiments related to telepathy and hypnotism. Unfortunately, Smith's involvement tainted the credibility of the results. In 1888, Gurney discovered that Smith had employed theatrical trickery and stage illusions to fake the tests and results, rendering the value of their experiments worthless. The revelations surrounding Smith's deception caused a considerable stir within the research community. In subsequent years, Smith's partner, Douglas Blackburn, publicly admitted to fraud, while Smith himself denied any wrongdoing. This revelation served as a cautionary tale about the importance of maintaining rigorous standards and ensuring the integrity of scientific experiments. Edmund Gurney, a brilliant philosopher and psychologist, had made significant contributions to the field of philosophy. However, his life came to a tragic end on June 23, 1888, in Brighton. It was a shocking and mysterious event that continues to perplex scholars to this day. Gurney's untimely demise was attributed to an accidental overdose of chloroform, but rumors of suicide lingered in the air. At the inquest, Arthur Thomas Myers, the brother of F. W. H. Myers, testified that he had prescribed chloroform for Gurney's neuralgia. The verdict of accidental death was recorded, but many believed that there was more to the story. Some speculated that Gurney's death was a result of his disillusionment after discovering the frauds perpetuated by Blackburn and Smith. One theory suggests that Gurney's encounter with Blackburn and Smith, 
who engaged in fraudulent practices, shattered his faith in humanity and his own work. This disillusionment, combined with the chronic pain he suffered, may have led him down a dark path. However, others argue against this hypothesis, stating that the mystery surrounding Gurney's death is likely to remain unresolved. Regardless of the circumstances of his death, Gurney's philosophy continues to resonate with us today. His exploration of existential themes, such as the nature of divinity and morality, remains deeply insightful and relevant. Gurney's work encourages us to examine our own beliefs and seek new ways to find meaning in a world that often feels devoid of it. In our daily lives, Gurney's philosophy can inspire us to question our assumptions, challenge prevailing norms, and forge our paths towards personal fulfillment. It reminds us of the dangers of nihilism and the importance of finding our own truths. Although the mystery surrounding Gurney's death may never be fully resolved, his intellectual legacy continues to guide us as we navigate the complexities of existence. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.